Hi guys, this is Mike. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a photo into ZBrush. So you can see I have this 3D sphere that I have in the scene. And what I can do is to add in a photo, go to texture, go to import, and then go to the photo that you want to add in. Now I'm going to click on the photo and I'm going to come down here where it says add to spotlight. Click on that. And you can see that we have our spotlight open and we have our photo added into our scene. So if I navigate the spotlight around, I can move that around. And if I click on the image, you can see that we can then position our photo to where we like. Now it might be a little bit too large, so we can go to scale and we can scale that down. And we have some options to flip and uh, make some basic color correction on our photo, we can do that. And we can rotate here. And we also have the ability to drop down the opacity as well. Oops, excuse me. Now, what if we want to remove this background altogether? What we can then do is go to paint and make sure we are on our black. So make sure you choose your uh, color to black. You can see that we can then delete that. It can remove that transparency on the background. But there's an easier way if you hold down control and click and move your mouse, you can then remove the entire background. And let me just clean up this little spot here as well. Now I switched the color on my object. So let me switch that back. So once you're okay with this image and you like its positioning, what you can then do is then start working on your object. But if we try to start adding in on our object, making any sculptural changes, it's just going to keep popping this spotlight all around. So what you can do is press Z to remove that. But then what you still need to do is go up to brush, samples, and then go to uh, turn off spotlight projection. So once you do that, then you can then start sculpting onto your, your object. So make sure that's a make polygon mesh. So then you always have this image here as a reference. Now, if you want to bring back your spotlight, you can bring press Z on your keyboard, or if you want to remove the reference image altogether, you can go to shift Z and that will remove that and shift Z will bring that back. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can download the project file from this course as well as all the videos that I've made so far at astronomicskills.com. Thank you.